Welcome everyone to PSWF Adrenaline. I am one of your co-hosts, Jeremy Culver, aka Darce, and with me is Kyle, the glorious Gloria, right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Kyle, how are you doing? I am good. I am good. I am excited to be back. That was a friend uh, little trip I had and everything else, but I am ready. I am stoked. Of course, I kept up with all the action and what was going on, and, and, and there was a lot that had happened. That is, that is for sure. Uh, thank you to uh, Kawu filling in. I can't wait till maybe one day be able to commentate with him on the side, maybe do a three-way one time. But hey, you know what? Thank you. It's good to be back. You heard the crowd. They were rooting for me to be back. Because they all miss me. We know what, we know how that is. <laughs> well, you are back. And, of course, yes, again, thank you to Kyle Wu for stepping in and helping out with it. And as you did say, we've had a lot of excitement here at PSWF Adrenaline. And also a lot of controversy coming out of the last few yes. episodes. So it seems like those things are going to be coming to a head tonight in this episode. But, of course, we're getting things kicked off with the tag team division. The Smack Talkers coming off of two big singles mm -hmm. wins. And one of them coming over in or, uh, the 25th BAM in Anime Ted. And the 25th BAM was not exactly happy with how that happened. So he asked for a tag match to go with his partner, Ngoku, to take on the Smack Talkers in our opening matchup. And Kyle, what do you think about this one as we're about to get ready to unfold? I'm excited about this. I mean, as you stated before, the Smack Talkers getting two big wins in their singles events. And, and again, Darce getting that huge victory. Um, we know he's been um, fighting for that pin and everything else. And, and, and again, momentum is shifting to their size. Now, let's see if we can, if they could take those singles experience and turn it into a victory in the tag division though that that's going to be the big question here yeah that will be the big question because as a tag team they have yet to get a win but mm -hmm. as we did just discuss darcy finally picking up his first win we're going to head to the introductions here to get things started and of course anime ted is getting things going for us right away and let's talk a little bit about this tag team because they've had some times of individual success in the Don't singles competition in the tag division they've had uh you know a mixed bag when it comes to success but one thing they've always done at least in for the most part has been putting on a show last week anime ted uh of course coming down to the ring against the smack talkers kyle taking on the 25th band but the 25th band put on a fairly good performance that just came out on the losing end how do you feel that their, I guess, psyche is heading into this tag team matchup where they're going to try once again to prove their performance as a unit? Um, that, <laughs> that's going to be quite interesting, as you said. Um, because, again, 25th BAM, all the talent is there. Like, you, like, every time he is put into a match, he has looked really good. Like, um, McGinn, again... Coming up short again, that has to mess with your psyche. Like you're like mentally, you've got to be like, what am I missing? What am I doing wrong that I'm coming just, you know, so close from getting those victories but falling short? But we'll see if Ngoku can really push him over that edge here and, and take on the Smack Talkers here and get that big win. Yeah, and let's look at the Smack Talkers because, again, a huge victory on the side for both of them. Darce picking up a big victory over our former PSWF champion, which is not a easy task to do, uh, but, of course, got called out following the match at the pay-per-view and Darce stood up to the challenge. So can they snowball that into a victory? We'll find out here shortly. That's going to be 
This is gonna be a fun match, that's for sure, and and it's a good match to start uh, start with for the night. And it looks like Goku and Darce are gonna get things going. The bell has rung, and here we go, getting PSWF adrenaline underway. And Darce, the first one to get a strike, it goes right after the knee of Goku. Ooh, with a good sit down corner power bomb from there. Here we are again. I mean, Goku taking the early, early beating as per usual here in the PSWF, and Dar going for that early tag, and we'll see if Goku can get going here now. Oh, and it looks like he's finally getting some strikes here on to Kyle. It mm -hmm. Looks like Kyle was a little sleepy as he got into the ring, and oh, a good right hand hook there from Goku. But now he's getting Bam in because this is what kind of spawned this matchup to happen was the singles competition. Oh, and Bam throws Kyle out of the ring right away. His head looked like it hit the steel steps there on the way out. Yeah, that did not look good. As you stated before, this is what kind of started all this. And 20 with Bam sitting there taunting a little bit, letting Kyle get back into the ring, but dodging out of the way from the strike. Oh, and a Ooh. big kick. And then a German suplex, a cross-body German suplex there. That was quite the, the combo being pulled out there. Uh, 25th Bam seems to be getting the early advantage here on Kyle, which is a little bit different than what we saw in their singles competition. This might be, you know, the anger from Bam coming out and showing here in this matchup that last week may have been a fluke. Indeed, a good strike to the knee there, and 25th Bam is doing a good job here, keeping Kyle in their corner. So when Bam is ready for the, the tag here, it's just a simple tag in and continue. Look at those strikes into that chest. Oh, oh man. Oh, and he faked it with a good chin punch there, and Bam is feeling himself. Oh, with a strong German suplex right after and getting Ngoku back in the ring. Kyle desperately needs some kind of momentum or a quick tag to get things going back in the Smack Talker's way. That indeed. Uh, he definitely needs to go for that hot tag here. Ngoku going for this pin, though. Oh, but Kyle able to kick out before even a one count but just still slow to get to his feet, and Umgoku's trying to keep the advantage that the anime Ted had, had built up. Oh, with a good backflip off the ropes, and Kyle just struggling, but finally gets a reversal and might be the little bit of momentum he needs. Oh, with a big super big, kick to the face. Huge super kick there. Kyle was not having it anymore. Oh! Another knee to the face. Oh, man, it looks like Kyle, something must have just struck in Kyle because he's got things going. Oh, with another big kick to the face. <laughs> another huge kick. Getting Darcy in. Darcy, the fresh body here. We'll see what he can do off of this. Oh, and a backflip off the ropes instantly into a pin. Gets a one count, but Goku not going to be put away off of that. And look at Darcy. He has feeling himself and knows that this is the momentum they might need. And decides, hey, Kyle, why don't you keep up what you've been doing and with them, Goku in the ring and gets him back in. And Kyle with some big strikes to get things started. It looks like he's not going to fall victim to what he did early in the match. It just keeps the momentum going for the Smack Talkers. Yeah, and right now this momentum is huge. Kyle going up for the top rope. Goku's trying to go for the tag. Oh, and he does get it. It looks like, oh, but Kyle able to get back onto his feet and doesn't care that Goku wasn't part of the tag uh, in the ring anymore, but... <laughs> Just gets things going and just continues no, to lay havoc. 25th Bam was trying to take advantage of that, but Kyle did not allow it. Going for that knee to the gut. Another one. Ooh, and a Russian leg sweep. Russian to leg cap sweep. Off. And look at Kyle just feeling himself <laughs> throwing off his momentum. That's what he used to do in the mosh pit when he was younger. But now, as he's older, he does it inside the ring. Yeah, he's feeling it definitely. Going to back to his corner. Really smart uh, tag team play here. Continuing to damage him. No see if he goes for the tag here. Ooh, and a good sit down power bomb uh, from himself. Goes for the pin. What are we going to get out of it? Only a one count. And Kyle mm. cannot believe that it wasn't more than that. Yeah, he could try to get that. You would think with all that damage taken, that would have been a little bit more, but. 
Still not enough yet, but getting Darcy back in the ring. Let's see what Dar can uh, do here and if he can continue this momentum. Ooh, with a good fish strike there from Darcy. And then goes back to the strikes with a big knee kick. Oh, but 25th Bam able to turn things around. And now he shows, hey, you want to kick me? I'll kick you right back, right in your chin. With another crossbody German suplex right after it. And he's going to go get his tag partner in. This, both these tag teams are doing a great job of trying to keep whoever is in the ring fresh with some quick tags after after doing some moves. That indeed. And I, I really enjoy that sequence there. The, the kick to the chin to the German suplex. It's a really fun move to watch. And Goku's going big. Darcy thought he could turn it around, but he couldn't. Goku jumped off with a big kick to the face, but Darcy able to kick out Ooh, at yeah. one. Kyle in there for assurance to make sure that it didn't get more than that, but Kyle gets tossed out by Bam. Bam is chasing him down, and, Ka and Goku is just, oh, with a big knee strike to the temple of Darcy, but Darcy with a good turn around and getting some fish strikes in there, and maybe, just maybe, this is where he can re-grasp the, the advantage inside the ring with some big knee strikes to the side of the knee of him, Goku. Yeah, bruising that thigh. Darcy going out of the ring, though. What, what's he looking for? Ooh, Kyle with a drop kick out there as well. And the 25th Bam continuing. Uh-oh. I don't think he saw Goku was getting up already. Goku throwing him back into the ring. Oh, no. Goku looks like he's going to try to get take on Kyle. And Darcy's coming out there to try to protect his partner. But he decides, hey, you know what? Kyle can handle himself. I'm going to go after Bam. And now we just have chaos spilling outside the <laughs> ring. <laughs> These two teams are really not liking what, you know, they've done to each other so far. Just going back and forth now. And the strikes of Spear from uh, Goku there with some big strikes after and now just everybody seems to be just stuck they don't know what to do but oh Goku just putting in the work on the Kyle Kyle an innocent bystander here trying to just get back to his corner and um Goku's putting in work the refs counts ever increasing we're up to an a count are they gonna get back in the ring and Goku gets back in and finally Darcy yeah, able Darcy. to get back in Goku With trying to take advantage there. Ooh. A good but DDT and a follow-up right after with another <laughs> DDT planting his face into the mat and Goku is hurt off of that. Yeah, Goku trying to take advantage to go for the uh, knee strike but missed. Ooh. And uh, Darcy was able to get the double DDTs there. Yeah, and it was a, cl a close two count there. Ooh, Kyle's trying to get some uh, a big hook off of that, but <laughs> Goku able to come to his senses to stop that. And a hot tag there into Bam. And what are they going to do? They're going to make sure Kyle flies doing a swanton bomb, but just does not connect, of course, onto anything <laughs> as he hits the mat. No, that's a big drop there, especially when you have two uh, competitors throwing you up. Kyle... Able to counter the scented bomb. Oh, with a big kick to the side of Bam's head. And Bam is reeling off of that. Darcy with the tag. Getting the tag to come in. And Darcy is going big. Let's see if he can land this. Oh, and he connects. <laughs> right into a pin. Oh, and a close two count. Darcy and Kyle thought it was over. And Kyle Darcy says, look, I'm feeling myself. Oh, but he goes for a backflip and he misses. And bam. Oh, with the big hook. Into a super kick. And oh, oh my God. Darcy's face must be in a lot of pain off of that. That was a strong strike that connected clean. That it was. The 25th bam took advantage of that. And oh. Is it happening? It's the spirit bomb! Oh, and Darcy plants Kyle right there. Not coming in! <laughs> what just happened? What just uh, happened? I, I... I'm at a loss here. I don't know what just went on there. On why... Kyle did not come into the ring there. 
I am in shock with what just happened there. Kyle, yeah, right there, able to break it up and does not jump in. I don't know if it's with Darcy kicking out of the last two without help. Because Kyle went in the last two times to try to break it up. Especially that previous time and Darcy kicked out at like a one. But you would think seeing the spirit bomb there, Kyle would have jumped in there. Yeah, I... Uh... Not quite sure what happened there, but Animates had a big tag win there. Getting over the Smack Talkers yet mm -hmm. again. And showing that they've got momentum on their side as a tag team. So, we'll see, of course, what this means moving forward. But, Kyle, break down your thoughts of uh, how that match went down. <laughs> I mean, overall, the match was insane. Like, there was a lot of back and forth there. Um, a lot of momentum shifts. I mean, especially after that beating that Kyle took early. And then, oh, from that point on, honestly, the momentum really shifted in favor of the Smack Talkers. And they... I mean, this just kept it rolling, and then all chaos broke out, of course, like, outside, of, once it spilled outside of the ring, I don't know, like, everything and anything happened then, and then, again, once it got back into the ring, it seemed like they were looking to finish it, and just, Darcy just barely, you know, um, uh, losing out on that, like, that, uh, near fall there, almost had had that three count but again confusing at the end I, I don't know what happened there I would assume that something must have happened to Kyle when that chaos spewed outside mm -hmm. the ring maybe he got knocked silly and was just not really there uh, all at the senses when it came to that last pin but of course anime Ted coming out with a big win but I don't think this is the last time we're going to see these two tag teams battle no. it out here in PSWF Adrenaline but welcome everyone to PSWF Adrenaline I hope you have enjoyed that opening match because we have quite the card for the rest of the show we're going to be opening up after that with a a rematch of last week's controversy dr vertebrae taking on molly gloria as you may remember from our last match if you have it go check it out but dr vertebrae picked up a big win but in a controversial way when the ref did not see the rope break from molly mm -hmm. gloria and molly obviously and understandably upset with it said i want a do-over because a lot of this will dictate who challenges x at our upcoming pay-per-view for the title again our longest reigning champion in x and so kyle do you think that we're gonna be able to quell the controversy tonight <laughs> i don't know that was that was quite quite the the situation there and 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 you know that molly's gonna be out for vengeance she is furious with what had happened there and and she she wants to uh, you know she wants a queen victory like it's you win or I win without any controversy, especially because that that potentially almost costs her getting shot for that belt. Yes, and of course because of what happened at the uh, at last week's show, the heads above said, you know what, that is understandable, Molly. You get a do over, and again, this will help with dictating who is the number one contender for the women's championship. Then we got another one that kind of spewed into controversy. The final, the main event of last week's episode, Mayo Menace tried to cash in the money in the bank. Failing to do so, but costing Thicknotic his title that he just won. Yeah. So Thicknotic, upset about this, said, Mayo Menace, I'm going to just demolish you inside this ring and I want you one on one. And so that is following up right after. Yeah, and, and again, that what a situation from that, you know, thinking he had it early and then kind of toyed a little bit too long and allowed. Uh, nice and to get back in there and, and cause all kinds of chaos. I am looking forward to that match for sure. And then following that, we have the Samurai taking on BAT. A weird matchup, you may be thinking, but we found mm -hmm. out following our pay-per-view, the Samurai made fun of BAT for how he has not gotten a win here. And BAT followed up with saying, well, you just got your head kicked off and lost your title. And the Samurai <laughs> said, all right, meet me in the ring. So they are challenging each other to see who is going to possibly pick up a momentum swing following the pay-per-view, which will be an interesting matchup if I say so myself. And then Kyle, right after that, another one that's going to be pretty interesting. 
Yeah, Bear Grylls versus Hunter Frost. I I'm definitely excited for this matchup as well. I mean, Hunter Frost, each time he's in a ring, and Bear Grylls both look really, you know, really good. Like, they just, they both know how to perform and put on a huge showing here. I'm glad to see Hunter Frost again and Bear Grylls in singles is always very entertaining. And, and this is definitely a matchup that can easily go either way. Yes, of course, it definitely can. But after that, then, is another answer to a controversial thing that did unfold on the PSWF Facebook group, which if you aren't following us over there, use the link down below to go follow. But following last week's other controversy of Bear Magnum losing, grabbing the rope at after a one count. He held it for two straight counts, expecting the ref to break it up, did not, and said, you know what, KT, if you are only going to win through a rope break i'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen anymore so we have a last man standing match to end our show tonight kyle <laughs> how is your excitement level for that one i am so stoked to see a last man standing match i, I am ready for it and especially with the controversies that's been going on that there there's nothing now now it's either i'm standing you're standing there's an end to it and i have to start to say i know kyle Wu, you know um filled in for me last week and he's pretty neutral about everything feeling good but you know i have to say um i'm glad it's, i got i'm personally starting to agree with the smack talkers here about the disrespect here and, and favoritism here and and, and the, the smack talkers has complained in the past about the refs involvement in a lot of these matches and sure enough what happens but the the other half of kyle Losing to a rope break and getting pinned. And then KT coming out with yet another cheating victory. Yet again. I mean, that's twice now to get the titles. And now last week to get that victory again. Refs involvement, cheating. And Dynasty is all about, you know, being, we're the best. We're in blah, 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 blah. But yet, the only way they've gotten these huge wins is by cheating. I'm just throwing it out there. We'll find out if he can find a way to win tonight in a non-cheating way. Because, of course, a last man standing match means that there are nothing that can stand in the way. Mm -hmm. As you said, it's whoever is down for the count. But we got to turn things to the first controversy that did happen. Again, Dr. Vertebrae taking on Molly Gloria. Kyle, where do you feel this I guess controversy in a sense will end with in this show. This is tough. Um, because <laughs> both these competitors, right, have momentum at different times, and right now it seems pretty dead even. <laughs> like, so, like, this, I'm excited to see how this one will end. And to see if it does end without controversy, and hopefully it does, because yet again, happening twice, <laughs> it's, it's one show is insane. Yes. But we're going to have to see here if Dr. Vert can, you know, it's not Dr. Vert's fault. I'm not, you know, saying like Dr. Vert was the cause of this either. You know, she thought it was a straight up good victory, but again, Rope break, was it seen, was it called, and, and we'll see how much Dr. Vert would like to uh, um, bend Molly's limbs back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that Dr. Vertebrake had a strong showing, again, did very well in last week's episode, and while, yes, the ending led to a controversial win, uh, Molly did gra grab the rope shortly after the two counts. So there was less than a second for the ref to notice mm -hmm. the rope. So they, you know, while yes, it is still a mess up, and yes, uh, the referee, of course, is in uh, basically a probationary period from here, and we'll see, of course, what happens there. Dr. Vertebrake is saying, look, I'm justified in my win. I want the win. But understandably so, again, it is still supposed to be a rope break, and Molly Gloria should not have lost, at least in that moment. So she wanted a rematch, and again, the heads of PSWF agreed, saying that should not be how we have things here at PSWF. So she gets her rematch, and she's hoping to put on just as good of a show, because she had a good show as well, but of course, a better one where her hand is raised at the end with the victory.
Yes, agreed. And, and again, like you said, furious and rightfully so about the situation that had happened. Yes, it was a very close call, as you said. It was just shortly after the two count. But still, again, a rope break is a rope break, and, and it should have been. And, and here is the, you know, to say, hey, listen, either if either one of us are going to win, we're going to do it right. Yep, so here we go, and it looks like things are ready. The bell has rung. Let's hope for no controversy, and we are getting started with Dr. Vertebrae throwing Molly into the side. And, oh, a big kick to her chest and knocks Molly out of the ring already. That's a new one. I haven't. I don't think we've seen that one come out of Dr. Vertebrae. It's always fun. I feel like so far, even the last match, we've seen some moves that we were able, you know, we haven't seen from some of these competitors yet. Yeah, it definitely feels like every week they're pulling out some new things. They're gathering their uh, ring abilities. And oh, a big kick from Molly Gloria putting Dr. Vertebrae on the mat. And then she said, hey, why don't you tell me what the mat tastes like by planting her face in there again? And a huge cut to the gut, flipping her back over, going for the early pin. Doesn't even get a one count. <laughs> Does not get a one count. She, maybe Molly was feeling herself a little bit too much off of that. Oh, uh -oh. Dr. Vertebrae trying to break this up. Oh, and punches her from there. But Molly, oh, connects with a big drop kick off the top ropes. <laughs> Huge drop kick there. Oh, Dr. Vert catching her knee and whipping it across her body. Ooh, and now... Dr. Vertebrake is hoping she has gained control, and this is what she does best, is trying to keep her opponent on the map and just wear her out, but mm -hmm. says, hey, let me just toss you outside the ring and let's battle it out outside here. Now, remember, people, ever, last time that these two were out here, I shouldn't say last time, but it ended in a double count out. Mm -hmm. So we do have to keep that in mind. Will that be a potential ending here to lead to another matchup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, again, I don't know. Last time they agreed, you know what? We both had our thing against Hat. Let's go in after her together. But again, it didn't end up working out for them. So, so I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like they definitely want to get a one on one opportunity here. Ooh, Molly Gloria playing with the crowd and then getting some good moves off on Dr. Vertebrake. A really nice uh, showing of athletic ability there. And then just showing her strength by just throwing Dr. Vertebrake with her head. Yeah, momentum slip shifting back to Maui here a little bit. Another knee to the gut. Ooh, slamming the back of her head. Oh my god, the lights get out and Dr. Vertebrake is just ready to plant Molly Gloria! Oh my gosh! Oh, but Molly with a good reversal off of that, not being shook by the the magicness that just took place here, and then planted Dr. Vertebrae's head into the mat. Goes for the pin. Yeah. Oh, but only gets a one count. Only a one count. Again, with that strange blackout there, and, and you know, uh, Dr. Vert being ready, and here's the move that Molly loves to do, the double guts to the, the double knee to the gut. Oh, and there it is! The glorious twist goes for it. Is this it? No, it's a close one. And she's and she upset with the ref close. again. Yeah, she knows she, that was super close. And all oh, the stops to the chest. She looks furious. And now she's saying to the crowd, look, I'm showing I should have been the victor in our last matchup and really just putting in some work onto Dr. Vertebrae. Dr. Vertebrae has had very little control in this match and Molly's just putting in a show. But as I say that, Dr. Vertebrae with the reversal and this could be the momentum change she needs. Oh, with the pump handle slam after that. Very good pump handle there. Uh, and again, is this a time where the momentum's shifting big and she's going for another one? Oh, Molly able to slip out of it. Oh, and drops her with a good neck breaker. And now trying to drag Dr. Vertebrae away from the ropes to pretend, prevent any kind of breakup. But oh, puts her right back oh. into the corner. Yeah, that was smart from Maui, making sure there was going to be no controversy there, but gave Dr. Vert enough time to roll away. Oh! With a nice suplex there, it looked like she was going for the bridge pin. 
but decides to get rid of it. And now we continue going on. Dr. Vertebrae throwing Molly into the corner. And Dr. Vertebrae just really needs to find some momentum and is hoping that these big strikes here is going to finally get her some footing in this ring. Oh, Molly trying to get the clothesline and she gets out of the way. Yeah, this is, oh, she's it's going to tap. It's the spinal tap. Is she going to do it? Molly is begging, trying to get out of this. She's got that lock, too. Oh, oh. Good reversal out of it. And now Molly is trying to just get momentum back on her side and just wrench it on that arm. Yeah, Dr. Vert had it going there, and I that was getting pretty close there. She was getting it more and more locked in, but just a little bit of uh, opportunity for Molly to slip out of that. And going for her patent flips, goes for the pin. Will Dr. Vertebrae have enough to get out? She does not. Molly picks up a big win. Yeah, I think that's a lot of that frustration we saw in that matchup that from last week. She, she let it all out there, and huge win for Molly here. I mean, this is what she said. We wanted to make this clean. We wanted a clean victor and Molly, Molly took it. I mean, again, a lot of this, I think when you watch the way she competed tonight is that built up frustration this past week. Yes, agreed. She definitely was in control for almost this entire match. There were splashes of moments, of course, from uh, Dr. Vertebrae, but Molly really showing her uh, fortitude in this matchup. But now we have a different controversy essentially in hand is Dr. Vertebrae won the first matchup. Molly Gloria wins the second matchup. Mm -hmm. We got to figure out who's the victor, who's going to be challenging X. So... I think we might be seeing something here in the next week between the two, but <laughs> Kyle, uh, what's your thoughts when it comes to that breakdown? Obviously, it's it's a win to win. Yeah, it's a win to win. Again, though, the first controversial, but a, a, again, a win is a win. And, and again, like you said, Molly getting this big win, but it's a clean win, so she's going to have that argument on her side. But I will say this little rivalry between these two that are constantly fighting to try to get to that next step to take on X, it keeps building each time. <laughs> each time they fight, something new is happening. And, and, and every time I watch them fight, it gets, you know, the excitement level always just continues to grow. Our women's division always puts on a show, and of course, Molly and Dr. Vertebrae playing a big part in that. But now we got to look to the next matchup. Thick Nautic taking on Mayo Menace, the controversy of the cash-in here in PSWF. The first ever cash-in, and it was the first ever failure of a cash-in, and Thick Nautic not happy about it because while he Mayo failed to cash in, it still cost Thick Nautic his title mm -hmm. and once revenge, Kai who do you think is going to come out on top after what just transpired leading, leading to this match? This is a really hard one because um, Mayo has all the talent in the world, but we are also going against a formal champion. I mean, two time. Brandon, he Two-time, exactly. He's currently not a champion, but still has held the belt twice. So this is a huge task to try to climb, and and I kind of give the edge to Thick Nautic here just because of the experience of being at the top. He knows what it takes to be there and get there. So I give the edge to Thick Nautic here, but again, you never know with Mayo. <laughs> you never know with Mayo. That is exactly right. It's why we didn't know, of course, when the cash-in was coming, and it did happen. And I just want to talk a little bit about this because, of course, Thick Nautic, he went into last week's matchup just expecting a singles competition against what was the number one contender mm -hmm. in Ben the Iceman Nison. And however, ends up coming out with a loss because of the cash in. So how much do you feel the cash in just threw Thick Nautic off because it turned into a triple threat title match when it was supposed to just be a singles competition? Yeah, I think it threw him off quite a bit, let's be honest, because when, you know, Mayo's music popped off, Mayo showing up behind him and smacking him in the back of the head, cashing in. Again, Mayo probably should have had that if he would have just 
finish it off when he could have, but he didn't. He he decided to toy a little bit too much, and and there was even a bigger <laughs> profiter off of this to take the belt away from both of them. So the frustration and anger that's probably going through Thicknotic's head right mind right now, it, it, it's way up there. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, understandably so. So Thicknotic is hoping that, of course, this is the first step towards getting his belt back. And I do want to make sure that we pass this across. Because of the title change, Lunt is now, of course, back in the sense of a title contention. Obviously, losing last week to Darcy doesn't help his case. But now here's the man that wanted to get that belt tried to cash in and just came up short as you said toyed with his food maybe a little bit too long mm -hmm. in mayo menace and so kyle i guess i gotta ask through this do you think mayo is now focused enough to take the victory and possibly put himself back in contention for the title I think he could he just needs to realize he doesn't need the extra mail he just needs the normal amount of mail just Finish it off when you can. Like, you have the momentum. Finish. You you do whatever you know your moves that you need to get in there. But take that pin when it's needed. Don't try to put that extra on because you don't always need it. Sometimes, just enough is enough. Yeah, sometimes if you do too much mayo, it just gets messy, and that's what ended up happening. So, as you said, let's hope it's the right amount of mayo tonight. And, of course, gets things going with dropping and Thicknotic onto his head. And, oh, a big Ooh. splash right off of it. That is a lot of weight crumbing down on your chest. Yeah, again, I as Kelly stated the other uh, week, you, that having all that body weight slamming down on you, nobody wants that. It definitely does not feel good. Oh, we're on the turnbuckle here. Oh, it drops the ring, his back onto the corner of the ring, and oh, Mayo just taunting and flexing off of this and he's saying look thicknotic i don't care if you lost the title it's not my fault you couldn't stand with the strong ones <laughs> and he is trying to put in work tossing thicknotic right back into the ring yeah but again the taunting there is that playing a little bit too much with the other person i you know mayo likes to do this but we'll have to see if thicknotic can turn the, the uh tides here and <laughs> with the spinning punch and goes right for the pin after it but of course our former champion has been a champion for a reason not mm. getting down right that quickly goes out for a not even a one pin but mayo following up with another big strike off of that and trying to just continue to put the work onto thicknotic but thicknotic able to turn things around and he lifts thicknotic up or th mayo up excuse me oh and drops him on his face i thought that was the thick attack right there yeah, I thought he was going for it right away yet again, but throwing him in the turnbuckle, but Mayo taking advantage yet again. And just goes towards the crowd. That was a big clothesline there from Mayo, and he's just had such control of this match to start. Oh, but Thicknotic able to turn things around right as I say that with some big strikes, trying to get things going for himself, showing that it, you just need a little thicky in your life. It drops him right onto his face into the ropes. Yeah, that is momentum, like I said, it's key in a lot of these matchups, but it's just a matter if you can keep it going. Because, again, Zygnotic has gotten a few, a little bit of offense on, and then... Oh, I don't think huge there. I don't think no matter how many times I see that move that I will never be impressed uh, not impressed by it. It always shows off the athleticism from Thick Nautic going for the pin right after it. Gets a two count but Neo able to mm. kick out. There's that experience knowing after you do a big move like that like Thick Nautic does going for that pin right away and getting almost that you know getting that clean two count there. Yeah, but of course, having to pull him away from the ropes possibly led to Thicknotic get, or Mayo getting to his senses to kick out. Oh, and a good sidewalk slam from Mayo Menace there. Thicknotic trying to kick out of it, but Mayo just too strong holding on. Oh, with a big strike and a German suplex off of it. And what is he going to do following it up? Oh, he just lifts Thicknotic with a big clothesline. Goes for the pin. Oh, Thicknotic able to muster up the energy and kick out. Took, took one out of Thicknotic's book there after the big clothesline. Went, went straight for that pin and oh no, that athleticism from Mayo. Oh, no! Oh, the chest goes for the pin, but Thicknotic uh -huh. 
able to kick out yet again. I'm a pancake there. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't be able to withstand that. And he does oh, it you... again. He is just trying to use all his body weight to crush the chest of Thignotic. And goes into the corner with some big stomp saying, why won't you just stay down? Yeah, the, the aggression now coming out uh, from Mayo here. Furious that Thignotic will not stay down as you stated. And continuing this offense. But here Thignotic getting him in the gut. We'll see if Thignotic can now turn this around. Yeah, Thignotic needing to recapture his energy. Lifting oh. Mayo back up and dropping him right back onto oh. the ropes. And now... Oh, he's putting him in a leg lock. That is some thick thighs against thick thighs. And oh, he even bridges he's it. it. He's, he's bridging, bridging it. it. And Mayo is fighting to get out of this. Is he going to be able to do it? Oh, is he? Oh, he finally gets the leg oh. out and follows it up with a good strike. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure if that was going <laughs> to be a tap out there. Oh, a big drop onto the back of Thick Nautic. Mayo is not happy with just transpired, but oh, Thick Nautic able to turn things right back around. And Mayo turning things back for himself. Throwing him in the corner. We'll have to see what, what he has planned here. Kicking him in the gut, putting him down, putting all that weight into his neck. But Thick Nautic kicking out of, kicking him in the back, and him out of that. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, and he sizes uh -oh. him up. Is Mayo going to be able to get out of this? Is this the thick attack? It is! Is Connecticut Mayo's it. down? Will this be it? It is! Thick Nautic <laughs> with the big win over Mayo. Wow, what a match up there. I wouldn't mind seeing part two of that matchup. That was <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and, and Mayo had that momentum for that little bit with the big splash off the top rope and then coming off the ropes and doing uh, just running splash at him. And uh, with all that weight, I thought maybe that could have been it. But Dick Nodic, again, that experience of being a champion, knowing when to kick out and what it takes to to, to withstand that kind of offense and, and was enough to, to again... Come out on top here with a huge thick attack. Yeah, they, again, as you did say, that was that showed the champion experience firsthand. Doing everything necessary to make sure you come out on top. And thick Nautic, the one with the hand raised. But what a performance from both competitors. Mayo Menace, of course, uh, putting on a show so close to trying to get that victory. But thick Nautic able to secure it and obviously has to have his sights ready ready and set back onto Nyson for his rematch because he was the champion so he still gets a rematch mm -hmm. whenever he decides to invoke it and again as you said the fact that Nyson is now the champion I mean I know what has been pushed back a little bit but he even has a way to come back up now like there's so many so many things opened up all because mayo cashed in and it's going to lead to even more excitement in the future on on who's going to be competing for this belt it's always important to remember when you're at the top everyone's gunning for you so nice and mm -hmm. has to watch out but let's look to our next matchup something that of course had a lot of people gunning for him the samurai coming up short in our pay-per-view falling victim to hunter frost which was a phenomenal match but Fantastic. following that matchup, the Samurai had made fun of BAT's match earlier in the day against Ben Nyson in a tables match. BAT, outside of his attack on Nyson, has not really had a good showing here at PSWF. Mm -hmm. And BAT then followed it up afterwards of the Samurai's match, making fun of... Of the Samurai losing his title. So the Samurai said, we need to fight it out in the ring. Kyle, what do you think of this, I guess, rivalry that spewed from what just transpired at our pay-per-view? Quite interesting. You know, it takes a little bit of a, a you know, smack talking back and forth to create some of these rivalries. But it's all in fun. You know, it's all funny games. And until you get in the ring and realize that you might have talked to the wrong person. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing with BAT so far. Again. 
I started this, whatever had happened before to start with Nyson led to BAT still losing in the end. Now here's Samurai talking to BAT and BAT coming back at Samurai. So we're going to have to see if BAT can show why he is here in the PSWF, that he belongs. And Samurai's like, listen, you're the new person on the block. I'll show you what striking looks like. Yeah, BAT had a strong debut attacking Nyson out of nowhere as Nyson came down to the ring a week before the controversy of uh, the music airing that led us all to wondering who this was. But then BAT hasn't really followed up since, has not had that nope. footing, that strong showing like his debut. The Samurai, however, ran a long time without losing, only lost to our former champion in Thicknotic, the person who just won previously, and then finally comes up short in our TLC pay-per-view against Hunter Frost. That's not a person you want to have a bone to pick with, but I guess if you're going to try to make a statement win, why not take a statement win over a former champion, the OMG champion in the Samurai? And yes. here we go. BAT's trying to show, hey, I can hang with all of the big ones here in the, the organization. Yep. As you said, this is a great opportunity for BAT to get a huge win on the former OMG champion, as you said. But yet again, we got to think, here is a guy that has looked strong throughout his career so far here in the PSWF. The Samurai has looked fantastic. But, again, as you stated, did lose the belt. So we're going to have to now see if this is a shift for him. A, a, you know, is this going to be a string of losses that lose, you know, you know, start to eat at him or, or build up on him? Or does he take that loss and say, and, and get that big victory here, clean, smooth, quick, to, to, you know, push himself forward back to getting that OMG title back or who knows maybe getting the the big title so um th this is a big step for the samurai as well to show like hey listen I may have just lost a match but that that was a fluke I I'm here to stay yeah and you hope that he doesn't follow suit of <laughs> what happened with Lunt again having the big match loss at the pay-per-view following up with some choice words at a competitor and then follows up with another loss now the samurai has had a week off to regroup and grab things lunt of course after what happened is taking the week off so we'll see what he can do with it but the samurai could be showing hey having that week off to regroup regain your thoughts and regain your composure could be what's needed to put yourself back into the picture and again he is a former champion. He also mm -hmm. has the champion clause if he wants to invoke it and go back after the OMG championship. So Hunter Frost has to keep an eye out for that potential. But Samurai is not looking at that right now. He has to look across the ring at his competitor in BAT. And I mm -hmm. think at least what we saw here could be the Samurai locked in and ready to go after his competitor. Yeah, he, you could tell the Samurai is ready here, and BAT looks ready as well, so I'm really interested, as you said, to see how B BAT can go against a former gold holder. Yeah, and here we go. Things are getting ready. The bell has rung, and now we're getting started. Ooh, and the Samurai coming out with a big high kick to start with some strikes, and this is what the Samurai is known for. It always says that you need to make sure you stay away from these strikes but the samurai just put in some work with a big backflip off the ropes and now goes for the pin trying to put bat away early but only gets a one count yeah huge backflip off the ropes and getting getting this early offense here and going up again for huge move coming from the samurai Ooh, knee to the chest neck area from the top of the ropes there, but BAT able to get things going. Oh, with a big shoulder charge, planting the Samurai onto the mat and now putting in some work onto the Samurai. Right after that with a big arm stomp and a splash after and then flexing the muscles. Yeah, BAT here showing it off a little bit too much though. Samurai getting back up and punishing 
Mm. Yeah, that was that was probably a little bit too much of feeling yourself with your muscles because uh, mm -hmm. the samurai is really showing how you need to stay focused if you want to come out on top. Just wrenching the body of BAT and then a big yeah. double knee to the back. Yeah, Stammer right here getting, ooh, trying to get his leg ready to get those strikes in, but let BAT have a little bit of time to get back up and big knee to the face there. I'm a little surprised that BAT went for the taunt right after the big shoulder charge. You'd mm -hmm. think he learned, but of course it didn't backfire on him this time. And now he is really putting in some work here. Ooh, just showing the muscles. Oh, and a big clothesline into the corner. Lifted the samurai. Feet off the ground. Goes for the pin. We get a one count. We get a two. Oh, but a kick out a two. I mean, that those moves must be pretty damaging. Getting the two count there. BAT, though, showing off his offense here. We'll have to see if he'll keep this momentum throughout this matchup. Oh, my God. Ooh. God, the viciousness of that slam afterwards. <laughs> oh, but the Samurai able to counter it. And with a good rollover. And another kick to the back of the head. This is when you got to start watching the Samurai because those strikes start feeding one after another here. They come so quick. And you need to watch out for the Samurai Seppuku, but he goes for the pin, only gets a two count. And the Samurai actually can't believe it, thought that he probably could have won the match with those moves right there. Oh, and there samurai it is! Oh, big mirror! It's Seppuku! It's Seppuku! Goes for the pin! And he puts him away! <laughs> wow! Wow, just how quick. This is what I'm talking about, though. When I was saying, you gotta, once those strikes start happening, you need to look out for the samurai. And just like that, bam, over. And oh, it some looks like here. there's some respect going on in the <laughs> ring. There, it looks like an apology has happened, and the samurai's hands are raised. BAT standing by his side. What a showing of respect, but I. I gotta say, I try to stay neutral. I try to be as much as understanding here, but something's got to give for BAT because this is another oh, loss mm -hmm. just building up. Yeah, BAT, you you can guarantee is getting frustrated with what's going on. So I don't know what this is going to lead to, uh, if any changes end up happening or what have you, but something's got to give, as you said. Like something, there's something that's going to be uh, amount to something somewhere, like. It, things are starting to get desperate, I, I can tell. Yeah, so we'll see, of course, what happens from there. But the Samurai picking up a big win. Where does he go from here? Does he put his attention back to our champion, the OMG champion of Hunter Frost? Does he try to take out some other people before re invoking his rematch clause? We'll see. But... We got to look at our next matchup because it does involve our OMG champion Hunter Frost taking on Bear Grylls who hasn't fought in singles competition in quite a while but has had some strong showings in recent weeks and trying to then show it now against our OMG champion Kyle. What do you think of the matchup? I, again, am really excited for this matchup. Um, both of these competitors in singles have looked really good. Hunter Frost, of course, as you said. <sighs> taking things down. I mean, I'm excited for Hunter Frost right now. Like the, the excitement is built up and, and Bear Grylls, like I said, but very tough component opponent here. So I, honestly, this match is, I, I'm definitely looking forward to this match because it could be big, you know, steps for Bear Grylls himself if he could take down Hunter Frost here. Of course. Because Hunter Frost gets, gets this win. Uh, of course, every time you take a win over someone holding a belt, that's got to be good news for you. And of course, Bear Grylls hoping that that is going to be what happens for him in this matchup. And let's talk a little bit about Bear Grylls' rise and, of course, uh, I will say in a sense, falls here at the um, PSWF, having some fairly good showings in the 
tag team division with bare mm -hmm. arms had a decent run in the omg championship as we always allude to but had to do the double dip where the samurai was able to take the victory over him and now is of course getting back into a singles competition hoping to mm -hmm. take what he's had happen here for tag team uh matchups into this matchup but hunter frost is a tough one to go up against yeah it's very very tough matchup here but look at that i mean very gross intimidation playing with the crowd a little bit going at them um again it <laughs> this is a big task for bear gross but again like I said, if he can pick up the victory here, huge momentum for Bear, Bear Grylls to climb that ladder to, to the next stop. Yeah, and he looks ready to get this going. But of course, the champion is making his way in now in Hunter Frost. And that has been a big rise for Hunter Frost for weeks of not winning, of not coming out on top, of being the one on the losing end. And then finally, at our pay-per-view, puts it together after a number of wins and comes out with a win and likely even comes out with at the moment the highlight of the year with the big super kick to the samurai coming over the ropes can he keep the momentum going huge, huge super kick i was I, I jumped out of my seat when i saw that super kick it was absolutely crazy but i will say that omg championship around his waist looks really really nice yeah, it does complement his attire very well. But of course, the crowd has been feeling him for weeks now. They are behind him. You can hear them loud and clear as we get things going for this matchup. But Hunter Frost has to make sure he has his eyes set on the prize, which is the matchup right now. Because, of course, it's one thing to become the champion. But as we talk about, everyone pulls out their A game when you are the champion. So Hunter Frost cannot make a misstep. And we're getting started, and he's not putting a misstep right now with some big strikes no. to Bear Grylls, trying to keep him on the back, his back heels. Those strikes, but ooh, Bear Grylls catching that last punch, sweeping him over his body into the ground. And going right after the arm after that. And what is this? Oh, just really putting some pressure onto those shoulders. And now with the disrespectful stomps onto Hunter Frost's face says, I don't care if you're the champion, you're going up against a bear. And that's what I'm going to do is just claw and maul you here inside the ring. Yeah, right. Momentum, though. Again, I will have to see how much of a beating Hunter Frost can take care of. Oh, Bear Grylls calling him to stand up. Oh, and a good Ooh. drop kick from the top of the ropes and hunter frost is looks hurt he looks shook off of this and bear grills going right back to the disrespectful stomps and then a big kick to the back yeah look at bear grills right now feeling himself i mean i would be too if i was beating the champion down like this as well but again Ooh, playing with those limbs yeah, he's, he's putting in some work here. Hunter Frost needs to get his footing back into this match. Oh. Oh, and there he goes. Right as I say it, I might just be the person who helps with everybody's turnaround and putting a big German suplex there. But he's feeling himself. But Bear Grylls getting to his feet. Will that be disastrous? And Oh, yes, it is. Hunter Frost trying to go off of the ropes, but Bear Grylls, oh, he whiffs a punch, and Hunter Frost is making him pay. Uh oh, but Bear Grylls is sweeping him over the body again. Oh, my. A huge power bomb. God, the strength into that throwdown, and now he's going to the top of the rope. Look at the height of that splash. What a performance. It goes right into the pin. Ooh, Hunter Ooh. Frost able to kick out at two. Mo momentum again, Bear Grylls, but here's Hunter Frost. With it, a uh, RKO out of nowhere. And a big 
big slam right after it and now he's just going to work he is frustrated and the aggression is coming out onto bear Grylls' face oh, oh this hunter frost with huge strikes there as well angry we're just fighting angrily right now yeah he is uh Pulling a book out of what we just saw from the samurai, just torquing the body of Bear Grills in a big double knee to the lower back. Big knees, I just said, no. Oh. oh my God, what strength just flipping Bear Grills through that, rolls him <laughs> over for a pin. Is this it? Oh, a close <laughs> two count. Bear Grylls just having enough to be able to kick out there. I don't know how much more Bear Grylls has in that tank, though. Oh, it could. That backflip be what just put him away. No. Bear no. Grylls able to kick out a little sooner this time. <laughs> yeah. That, that's just pure adrenaline at this point. That is what's called digging deep, everybody. Just trying to pull every ounce of strength out of you to make sure you don't come up on the losing end. And Hunter Frost, oh, what the big kick to the back of the head. Is Bear Grylls even knowing where he's at? Yes, he does with the counter there. At this point, it's Bear Grylls just striking, but oh, what is slamming him in on the, <laughs> slamming him face first right in the mat. into a headlock. And the ref is staring at the booty of Bear Grylls. Is, Bear, <laughs> is Hunter Frost going to tap? I think he's watching his hand, hands there, but Hunter Frost able to Ooh. climb underneath Bear Grylls and sweeping his legs back. Oh, what a big <laughs> drop right there onto his head. And goes for the RKO again. It's another one. This Yeah, that was just too much. I, I didn't think Bear Gross was going to be able to you know, get out of that one, but wow. <laughs> what a performance from the OMG champion, but what a performance as well from Bear Grylls making that close and even showing some moments where we thought, hey, he might pull out a win. Yeah, I, I, for a little bit there, I thought it could have happened. And, and But again, Hunter Frost started getting those big strikes in those big moves RKO into the uh, uh, crazy amount of power slamming him into the ground flipping him up and then into another RKO to finish it off yeah this is uh, I guess again a per impressive performance from our champion showing that it was not a fluke at the uh, pay-per-view he does have momentum continuing to ride on his side but Again, as the champion, you got to watch out behind you because the Samurai could always be lurking around the corner with that rematch. But Kyle... Anybody can. Anybody can. But Kyle, uh, let's just talk about, real quick, your thoughts on Hunter Frost's rise and showing in tonight. So Hunter Frost rising, you know, just continuing to raise the stakes each week like you know at first looked fantastic but wasn't getting the wins right but once he got that big win that first win he has just shot up like all the momentum in the world he has been able to to dig deep and just ride it all the way up the wave i mean like and right now he is at the top of there and just continuing to surf at top of the biggest wave possible because i mean he has looked fantastic week in and week out and, and there's a reason he is holding the omg championship right now and it's just a matter of, of how long he is able to hold this because again Records are, are, you know, are starting to form here. You know, we're, we're newer. So, so the longer you hold on to that title, it's the next biggest thing. It's the next record that everybody else is going to be digging for and everything else. And I'm excited to see if Hunter Frost could continue this momentum and, and how long he can keep a hold of this OMG championship. Well, and let's just hope, of course, that his climb is as pretty as a possible descent because you don't want it to come crashing down anytime soon. But now, 
We are looking at our main event, a controversial end to last week's matchup. KT picking up a win over Bear Magnum, who had the rope break and the ref didn't call it. K uh, Bear Magnum follows it up with the challenge of a last man standing match. And we are about to see that get underway. Kyle, your thoughts on this? Heard a little bit of my thoughts earlier, and I'm starting to see this too, and how much KT Dynasty is getting away with shenanigans here. And I don't blame Bear Magnum being furious about this, seeing it as well. Clearly, Bear Magnum should not have lost that match. As you stated, he held that rope for the two and three count the whole time and wasn't called. So if I'm KT right now, I know you're a force to be reckoned with. But I would be a little worried about the fury that Bear Magnum is about to bring into this match. I agree, and I think it's important to remind our visitors at home about this. With it being a last man standing match, while yes, there is no disqualifications around this, the tag team partners of Bear Magnum and KT are barred from ringside so you will not mm -hmm. see them in this matchup it is going to be strictly all around kt can he put bear magnum and keep him down on the ground or can bear magnum plant kt flat until the count of 10 so we'll see how things are going and bear magnum looks locked in and of course understandably so because as we've said i would be upset too i i would not be uh happy at all knowing that i had the rope for two seconds i understand not trying to kick out because you expect the ref to notice the rope but it obviously di didn't happen and bear magnum came out with the loss on it so bear magnum has to answer back tonight yeah that that's a that's a um as you said that's a loss on the record so and, and it's not a not one that you won on there because again you did not lose like you you lost because of a complete you know whatever shenanigans was going on and now of course with this all being underway we have the champion about to enter kt coming into the ring and as you can see, sporting the old gear, the gear of his singles run before teaming up with his cousin, Kal Wu. But again, look at him sporting that tag team belt, the thing that, of course, everyone is shooting for. We talk about it all the time, that as a champion, you're going to get somebody's A game. And KT has to be worried about it, as you said, with Bear Magnum tonight. Of course, uh, as you stated Everybody has to be ready for for the next person's A game because that's what they're gonna bring. You are the champion that you want to prove yourself. So KT's got to come out here and show why he is the champion, and, and prove that. Listen, I'm the best here. This is why I have a belt around me. But we're gonna have to see how much you know. As I said before, how much he could withstand the 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 anger, the fury, the wrath a bear mag uh, uh, magnum from you know grabbing that rope yeah and again and, we, talk, and we talk about it this is a this is a last man standing match so again we have to figure out who's going to be on the ground for 10 seconds so neither of these guys are going to hold back i think this is going to be a phenomenal match the bell has rung and here we go and oh kt gets a lock up right away and slams him down Already to get things started, but Bear Magnum trying to get back to his feet, so he's not the first one to get a count going. Yes, exactly. And, you know, KT's starting off strong here, getting him in the corner. Um, so <laughs> slamming him back into the turnbuckle. And again, as you stated before, this is a last man standing, so there are no countdowns either. If you're on the ground, even outside of the ring for that 10 seconds, that is it. Yeah, and KT really putting in some work. We've already seen that suplex. Oh, but he gets out of the way, Bear Magnum, but he's not able to do anything with it. KT, quick on his feet. Oh, and just showing off the power. One, two, and is there going to be another one? Yes, three power bombs <laughs> to Bear Magnum, and that is uh, some strength because, again, 
Oh my god, what is KT doing? But KT is just putting in work on Bear Magnum. Neckbreaker on in the knee there, but again, as you said, three power bands and rolling him over and bringing him on top of his shoulders into a net breaker. Unbelievable power by KT here. And this is, again, Bear Magnum's not a small guy, so it's not like he's doing these feats with somebody who, who he can easily move around or bench press at the end of the day. Bear Magnum is a big fighter here at PSWF, and here goes the first count, starting it off. Where are we going to get to? And look at that. KT saying to the crowd, is this the person mm -hmm. you thought that could ch stand up with me? We're already telling, at a five count. Telling everybody to make sure he stays down. But nope, nope. Gets back up at six. Ooh, Ooh. and KT Fresh. was trying to show off a little bit there. But Bear Magnum catches him sleeping. But however, KT turns things back around right away. This has just been all KT so far in this match. Yeah, this has been pure dominance by KT here and taking a little bit out of his cousin's book here, working the limbs now, trying to just weaken his opponent up. Yeah, a good leg lock there and the ref, of course, starting the count again because Bear Magnum's shoulders, both of them are down. So remember, everyone, that is when the count starts. You have to have both shoulders down <laughs> on the ground. And oh, KT with the disrespectful taunt there. And again, flexing for the crowd saying, look, I got this. Oh, and look at that power just shoving Bear Magnums to the side. But Bear Magnum with a good catch there onto KT's leg. Oh, and a big Ooh. elbow drop from the ropes. Yeah, that's a powerful elbow drop from the ropes. Like springboarding yourself off of the ropes into them with a lot of force. Ooh, and KT, again, showing off the strength, but Bear Magnum able to just get some counters going and trying to put in some work onto KT to show off his his own strength. And again, Ooh. Bear Magnum climbing to the top of the ropes. Oh, with the frog splash right after it. And, oh, wow. Huge frog splash there with all that weight and power onto KT, but KT said no more. Oh, and he Ooh, tried to taunt, taunt him again. He thought that he put Bear Magnum on the map, and Bear Magnum quickly got back up, and now just putting in some work onto KT, really trying to make him pay for that disrespectful taunt. Yeah, Magnum looks pretty PO'd right now from that taunt there. Oh, and drops mm. him onto the corner of the ring, and is putting in work outside the ring. Oh my god, the arm. I don't think the arm is supposed to bend that way. No, that... He torqued that arm so much, and you could tell he's trying to get feeling back in it. Yeah, just trying to shake shake that feeling back into it, as you said. The ref up to a five count, and KT just still not off the ground. We're at a six. Seven, is KT gonna get up? Ooh, and we get to an eight count before KT finally gets back to his feet. That, I think that's been our furthest count so far is eight. That, that's Magnum putting in a lot of damage here on the KT. Ooh, it's some disrespectful mm. foot drags across the face of KT. We've had a lot of disrespect going on in this match, and that totally makes sense with the rivalry that has brewed from what's just been transpiring between these two and, of course, the controversy from last week. Yeah, and again, this is not the first controversy that's that has come from uh, the Thomas Dynasty. Again, with the champ, you know, the first match to get the belts ending in a little controversy with the spray and that and then the ropes and the refs and what a slam though by KT there Magnum looks out Magnum is planted off of that and I don't know if he's gonna get back up from this we are currently at a five count and the ref is still going Bear Magnum has not moved and KT again with the disrespectful butt slaps there we're at an eight. Oh, but Bear Magnum finally gets back to his feet. I honestly didn't think he was getting back up, but. Oh, and a sit down power bomb, and KT standing tall again while Bear Magnum is started for another count. Kyle, could this spell the end of this match? 
this may be that that was a lot of force behind that one sitting himself all the way down and here we are at the seven eight. we're at eight nine. there's nine. Oh, but bear magnum gets to his feet before oh. a 10 count and kt is trying to make him pay oh. with a follow-up right away that need that that's it i don't know if magnum can get back up after that one just pure dominance from KT. This is a surprising showing so far. KT just showing utter dominance this entire mm -hmm. time. Seven. We're at seven. Eight. Oh, but Magnum Ooh. gets up at eight this time. Very surprising there, but KT is not letting up. Just constantly telling him, stay back, stay down. This is another move off of that. Again, as you just said, Bear Magnum, as soon as he stands up, KT just plants him right back onto the ground. Bear Magnum has no answer for the moment. No, he's not letting him get back up to put off any offense whatsoever. Oh, and Bear Magnum gets to his feet again. But KT with another follow-up. <laughs> oh, Oh, that's gotta be it. Like, Magnum had to use. Oh, no! KT said, screw the cow. I'm gonna just bleed some damage down. Oh, and he's back to his, the mat after that ruthless clothesline. And yeah, KT I was just feeling himself. I was gonna say, Magnum had to use the ropes to get back up. Oh, KT kicks him. He's not done. He wants more. going on if he doesn't get counted out the ref needs to stop this this is this is starting to get too much this is getting a little brutal from kt and bear magnum is just struggling you can see it in the body language i don't know if he's getting up after this that's just been so much damage dealt to him the ref is currently at an eight count and he gets up yet again i don't know how he keeps getting up but Especially when this is happening. Bear Magnum's got to find an answer. He has not found one. And he finally does. Oh, with a good reversal. Taking the back of the leg of KT out. And now the count starts for KT. <laughs> That's what he needed. Taking out the knee. Maybe he, you know, um, may, you know, you never know. Maybe he injured that knee and KT's not going to be able to get back up after that one. Ooh, Bear Magnum looks like he's staring the ref down like he was going to hurt the ref off of that. Oh, but <laughs> KT able to get back to his feet. And Bear Magnum finally has a little bit of an answer with a good reversal there. And slams him back down to the mat. And where are we getting? Oh, we're getting another count. Toy with him a little bit. I don't know if this is the route that Bear Magnum should be taking to try to get the victory. I feel like he should do, you know, pull a book out of what KT was doing. Say, screw the cow, I need to deal some damage. Oh, and oh, he finally does is. with a good uh, I think shoulder drop, but goes right back to to Zontan. Yeah, I thought I think he heard you for a moment there and kind of like said, you know what, maybe I will get a little bit more damage in there. And we're back to a five count. Where is this going to go? Bear Magnum flexing his muscles as KT gets back up. But Bear you Magnum, him. you weren't paying attention. Oh, but a good reversal. Oh, it stops on his foot. Ooh, and oh, but whiffs, he misses. whiffs that, round, that hook. Oh, it just tosses KT outside. And follows him Go out, outside. but decides, hey, I want to go back inside the ring. <laughs> and now we're back to another count. Wants nothing to do with KT on the outside of the ring. Just saying, go lay out there. And who knows, maybe this is Magnum's way of trying to regain some of that, you know. He, he, there's a lot of damage dished out on him. So he's trying to regain that momentum, regain strength. He did take a lot of damage, so this could be exactly as you said, just a uh, time to try to recoup himself. Oh, and he tried to go for the big swinging hook, and KT caught him. Oh, and plants him off of that. Is that going to be it? Oh, KT 
with the stomps afterwards said, I don't care about a count right now. I want to just make you feel pain. Deadlifting him from the mat and just, oh my God, what a showcase of strength from KT there. Yeah, there's that power we're talking about from KT. He, he showcased that quite a bit this match already. And here again, just deadlifting Magnum all the way up, twirling him around, and then just dropping him onto his front side. Oh my gosh, KT says forget the count again with a good roll up there and oh, a neck breaker. And the ref was ready to start counting, but KT picks Bear Magnum up. It just tosses him outside the ring. I cannot believe what we are seeing here. This is just no sense of humility at all from KT here. This is no. this is just utter destruction that he is ensuing. Yeah, he wants to show Magnum that it doesn't matter if the ref, you know, rope didn't see the rope break. I'm winning this one way or the other. And here and, it is. And here there it is. it is. KT is the winner with his hand raised high. What a showing that we just saw there. Yeah, I... <laughs> Honestly, as you said before, just pure dominance from Kate, you know, dominance from KT that matchup, showing all that strength he has, even taking a few, a uh, few moves out of Cal Wu's um, new set, you know, with the limbs and what have you. But again, here's KT showing why he has one half of the tag team title around this, around him. Yeah, and it was one of those things that it looks like Bear Magno maybe bit off a little bit more than he could chew, choosing to go with the last man standing mm -hmm. match against KT. But of course, you know, sometimes you're confident and sometimes it just does not work out for you. But of course, congratulations to KT on a big win there. But Kyle, that's the show. We've had a phenomenal one across the day. What was your match yes. of the card? Whew. There was a lot of good matchups today. Uh, I would, I'm would. i almost going to give the match to mm, Thick Nautic and Mayo. I, I really enjoyed that match personally because I love every time that Mayo is in the in a matchup. He always has a really fun um, showing. And Thick Nautic, of course, is just trying to battle his way back up to the top to compete for the top championship and overall i think it was just a really fun and um enjoyable match that was a great one and i definitely would pick it if you hadn't but i'm gonna go with our opening matchup the smack talkers versus anime ted that was actually a really good performance of course the smack talkers not coming out on top uh a little bit of a uh, either a floop or um a little bit of confusion there at the end on how it ended but what a performance from all of those competitors inside the ring and i cannot wait to see what unfolds from that uh mm -hmm. match card here in the coming weeks but everyone that has been pswf adrenaline here for you i've been one of your co-hosts jeremy culver aka darsay this has been kyle the glorious gloria and we really enjoy bringing this to you so as always everybody stay hydrated stay healthy stay safe and keep on gaming hit the like button hit the subscribe leave a comment and keep the adrenaline going